All right, this is going to be part two of my VeggieTales VHS collection. So, let's get started. Next one's a holiday special. This is the Lyric Studios re-release of The Toy That Saved Christmas. And it says right here, Can a brave little toy find the true meaning of Christmas before it's too late? I got this VHS in 2006 or 2007. Along with the ultimate silly song countdown. You want a toy that's fun. All right. I'll, all right. You want a toy that's fun. You want a toy that's cute. You want Buzzsaw Louie. As the president as the president of the Nezer Toy Company, Mr. Nezer has convinced all of Dinkletown that Christmas is when you get stuff. With the children of Dinkletown whining and begging for more toys, it looks like it'll be the worst Christmas ever until one brave little Bussaw Louie doll decides to take matters into his own hands. But how can Louie find the true meaning of Christmas when he can barely find his way out of the toy factory? And what if Mr. Nezer finds him first? With award-winning writing, catchy songs, and groundbreaking computer animation, the Toy That Saved Christmas teaches children of all ages that Christmas isn't about getting, it's about giving. And it's especially about a little baby named Jesus, who was the greatest gift of all. Clever, quirky, green leafy fun says Chicago tribute, and washable, lovable, washable, laughable, lovable says Houston Chronicle. And the special bonus features, Oh Santa. And here's the tape with the sticker label, and it's a green tape. This tape contains a preview for Esther, the girl who became queen at the beginning, and also has the extended variant of the Why We Do What We Do promo, instead of the more common shorter one. The extended variant also pops up on my VHS of King George and the Ducky, which I'll show you in a later part. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. And the toy who saved, that saved Christmas came out in 1996. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the stock number says item 2120. That means it has new animation on it. Alright, next up we have the Lyric Studios re-release of Very Silly Songs, VeggieTales' very first sing-along video. The Veggies Kids Actually Like says Newsweek, including the new and improved Bunny Song and the all-new Silly Song, The Pirates Who Don't Do Anything. I used to have the DVD release of this, but... I don't have it anymore, unfortunately. Sing Yourself Silly. Sing Yourself Silly with Bob the Tomato, Larry the Cucumber, and all their veggie buddies in Very Silly Songs, a hilarious sing-along collection of everyone's favorite tunes from the number one selling Christian video series, Veggie Tales. Also, take a wild ride on the looniest bunch of scally lags or Scallywags Ever to Sail, or rather Not Sail, The Seven Seas. In the all-new silly song, The Pirates Who Don't Do Anything. Don't miss out on... Don't miss out on the fun, as the award-winning artists at Big Idea present Very Silly Songs, previously released as a Very Silly Sing-Along. And that was originally released in 1997. Alright, 
special bonus feature is the pirates who don't do anything. But the song and the songs include VeggieTales theme song, I Can Be Your Friend, Dance of the Cucumber, La Lagoon Song, The Water Buffalo Song, God is Bigger, Love My Lips, Oh No, Stand Up, Hairbrush Song, and Bunny Song. And here's the tape with the ink label. And the print date on here is March 11th, 2002. This is a re this is a very late reprint. This only contains a preview for Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed at the beginning. <laughs> All right. Now on to the next one. This is the VeggieTales Classics release of Josh and the Big Wall. A Lesson in Obedience. That, ori that was originally released on VHS in 1997 after Larry Boy and the Fib from Outer Space came out. And, before you look, there's something rare about this. Normally, you would see Word Entertainment or Warner Home Video on the spine, but... You know what's rare about it? Sony Wonder! That's right, this is the rare Sony Wonder reprint of Josh and the Big Wall. Which means it's probably a reprint from 2004, 2005, or maybe even 2006. It says, Josh and the Big Wall is a hilarious, fully computer-animated story that teaches children a biblical perspective on obedience. Oh boy, after 40 years of wandering in the desert, the children of Israel finally get to go to the Promised Land. Only one little thing they've overlooked, though. Jericho. Yep. Surrounded by huge walls and bristling with really annoying peas, no one gets to the Promised Land without get going through Jericho first. But how? Joshua has God's directions, but they sound kind of, well, weird. To make matters worse, some of the Israelites are cooking up a plan of their own. In the end, they have to decide whether it's better to do things their way or God's way. Kids of all ages will learn a lesson about obedience in this comical retelling of the classic Bible story, Josh and the Big Wall. And special bonus features, the Song of the Sabu. And here's to take the rare sticker label Looks more like the Warner Home video copy, except it says Sony Wonder on there. And the print date is September 16th, 2005. This is an extremely late reprint. Alright. Next up, we got the VeggieTales Classics release of Madame Blueberry. A Lesson in Thankfulness. I used to have the original 1998 VHS release with the late 2000 ink label in a black tape, but I don't have it anymore. And this is the Word Entertainment copy. The story of a very blue berry. Why so blue? Because Madam Blueberry wants more stuff. Sure, she has everything she needs. Good friends, plenty of food, a nice treehouse to live in, but some of her friends have a lot more. Let your kids spend a little time with Madam Blueberry and the rest of the veggies, and they'll learn that being greedy makes you grumpy, but a thankful heart is a happy heart. The ninth original VeggieTales video from the award-winning artist at Big Idea Productions, 
Madam Blueberry teaches kids that God wants us to be thankful for what we have. Clever, quirky, green leafy fun, says Chicago Tribute, and watchable, laughable, lovable, says Houston Chronicle. Special bonus features love songs with Mr. Lunt, and that would be called his cheeseburger song. And this is a 2003 VeggieTales Classics release. And here's the ink label on here. And for previews, it shows a preview for Jonah, a VeggieTales movie, and the wonderful world of autotainment at the beginning. Um, my original 1998 VHS with the late 2000 uh, Word Entertainment ink label with the black tape had a preview for Larry Boy and the Rumor Weed at the beginning. I don't think, I don't have that copy anymore. Anyway, next up is, this is the original 1998 Word Entertainment VHS release of Silly Sing Along 2, The End of Silliness. Deliciously Silly, says Detroit Free Press. Could this be the end of silliness? Yes, it's true. In a fit of moral outrage, Archibald Asparagus has canceled silly songs with Larry. Join the story in this fast-paced sing-along collection as we find Larry the Cucumber drowning his sorrows in Jimmy Gord's ice cream parlor. Can Jimmy cheer up our forlorn cucumber? Will Archibald ever forgive Larry and give him his songs back? Most importantly, how much ice cream can a cucumber eat before he gets one of those really bad headaches? Sing yourself silly with some of your favorite VeggieTales songs and find the answer to the question everyone is asking. Is this the end of silliness? Silly songs included are VeggieTales theme song, The Song of the Sabu, Promised Land, Good Morning George, The Thankfulness Song, Keep Walking, Big Things 2, Stuff Mart Rap, His Cheeseburger, and more. Although it's not said on here, the bonus silly song is called The Yodeling Veterinarian of the Outs. However, on the 2000 Lyric Studios copy, it does say special bonus feature, the Yodeling Veterinarian of the Alps on there. But this copy doesn't say it because this is the original 1998 VHS copy from Word Entertainment. And here's the, take the sticker label. There are some printings on there, but not really a pre, uh, print date. Oh, and I forgot to mention, I think Josh and the Big Wall just has a preview for Jonah at the beginning. Well, the end of silliness only has the, only has the What's the Big Idea promo on there. Stay tuned for part three, which will be the final part.